Hey, welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If uh, you're returning, thanks for coming back, guys. Still got some wood on the processor from yesterday. I still need a lot of baskets in the wood room, so I'm going to get this split up, and we're going to cut maybe one or two baskets today. But over the next couple days, I'll take you along with me on, uh, on this little ride here, filling up my wood room. <clears throat> my... Like, like I mentioned before, my wood room holds about 20 cord. So let's get the super split fired up. I do have it all oiled up. Just topped it off with fuel. Hmm. Make sure we have a little oil in it. Yep, oil looks good. The switch is on, chokes on, fuel's on. I'm guessing I had water in the bowl because all I did was drain the bowl and that helped. Holy cow, is it cold out here today? Several of you have mentioned that maybe I should use a piece of expanded metal or some sort of grate for a catwalk so I can put a tote or something underneath it and pull it out with the tractor to collect the sawdust. And I think that's a great idea because the sawdust is starting to pile up pretty high. <laughs>
Unfortunately, this old winch just died, but I did replace it this week. I think I'm going to look into a diesel fuel tank caddy, something I can move around and pump out of. I know Vivor sells a couple of them. I'm not sure if that's exactly what I want. Like most of us, I cannot stand these new spouts on these containers. Oh, my little uh, grandson's getting a little anxious behind me here. But sometimes I'll drill a hole and I'll put a, a valve stem in there and pull the guts out and then I'll have a little vent. And that does help quite a bit. If I fill up this log deck, I can get almost two face cords up here. I'm still using this little blue wild badger electric chainsaw. I am I'm very pleased with it.
Last one. Oh. All right. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, not much, Chase. That's all right. I don't ask this much anymore, but if you don't mind, if you like this video, would you hit the thumbs up, leave a comment. I like communicating with you guys. I got a handful of you that I talk to every single video and I really enjoy communicating with you guys and it's, it's fun. And if you don't mind subscribing, subscribing will really help the channel out. We're growing uh, slowly but surely and I'm enjoying doing this. And the more that, the more subscribers I get, the more I enjoy it. So 21 baskets to fill this bunk up. Seven cord. I do have a little bit on this side of this bunk. So about six cord to fill this up. Not bad. So we have one more bunk to go. I have a little bit out there yet. So that that will be done. It's a lot, it's a lot of work getting your woodshed filled up every year, you know. It, it weighs on me. But uh, in my new process, I really, I'm enjoying it. It's making it easier. But you can see I'm stacked almost eight feet high. This is eight, not quite eight feet right there, but it's seven, seven and a half feet to there. So gives you an idea how high I'm stacked up. I'm five nine and I can't reach it. Well, I can touch it, but 14 feet long seven and a half feet wide or tall and eight feet wide all right on to the next bunk you probably can't see even in there because of the sun but i do like i said have this row started already so we need one two probably three or four more rows and we'll be how many rows do we have in there we have four rows so we probably need three more rows, is my guess. How exciting. And we're packed, packed pretty tight. It's always a great feeling having next year's wood done and put up. And I always like to have it by the beginning of May. Uh, and that that's the nice warm summer, dry it all out and uh i'll be ready for next year and i got that outdoor boiler you've seen it before it doesn't have to be crazy dry but if it's dry you know we have all had science classes we don't waste our energy boiling water out of the out of the wood so this will be next year's the start of next year's and this middle bunk i will be burning this uh center out first then I will go north, so this will be a little bit greener, so I do need this. Try to, I try to get five or six months of being dry before uh, we get to this next year. So, All right, guys, I'll see you next time.